A new year means a new web storm with the 2017.1 release. Support for Vue.js and Jest, Angular and React improvements, and lots of useful refinements for the web support shared by all IntelliJ IDEs. Let's take a look at what's new in WebStorm 2017.1. Vue.js is the fastest growing web framework and WebStorm 2017.1 adds support. In Vue's single file component, JavaScript goes in the script tag with the autocomplete you'd expect. In TypeScript projects, you can set lang equal TypeScript on the script tag. The style tag also supports languages such as SAS. Templates get coding support for Vue's template language. As you'd expect, in the single file component blocks, IDE features boost productivity. WebStorm can autocomplete a not yet imported component, then generate the import and register the component. Facebook's Jest testing platform is popular as the default for React, and 2017.1 provides integration. Run tests from the IDE and see the output in a dedicated window. New in 2017.1, for Jest and Mocha, you can run a test or suite with an inline icon. Passing and failing tests are now decorated with green or red gutter icons beside the test. The test window can be reorganized to show or hide passing tests, sort tests in different ways, then navigate to the test source. Next, configure your tool window to rerun tests on changes. This gives a TDD style workflow. As you write your Jest tests or change the source file being tested, WebStorm automatically triggers a rerun of the tests after a configurable delay. Ever get stuck debugging a failing test? Then set a breakpoint at the questionable line and run it under the debugger to stop in the context of the test. At the breakpoint, you can then inspect everything, just like non-test debugging. Even with all these other improvements, WebStorm has room for some nice touches with React and imports. First, forgot to import React itself? WebStorm not only warns you, but provides a quick fix which generates the correct import. Want to use a component that isn't imported? Autocomplete will still suggest it and even generate the import for you. WebStorm has always worked hard to stay current with Angular, and 2017.1 shows this by integrating the new Angular language service developed by the Angular team to improve code analysis and completion for Angular TypeScript projects. Once installed into your project, WebStorm will use it automatically behind a configuration and preferences. Code analysis for your component is now driven by the language service. Properties from the class can be auto-completed in the template. Make a mistake and the error is reported centrally. Sometimes it's the little things that are valued most, and WebStorm 2017.1 has several nice touches. Editing a package.json file and you can't remember the spelling of the package? WebStorm will autocomplete package names and even show version choices. There are many choices for coding styles and WebStorm now supports the new JavaScript standard style. WebStorm's ESLint preferences can find and configure the standard usage. We then see style warnings such as semicolons. If you aren't using JavaScript standard style but want no semicolons, WebStorm 2017.1 now has preferences for such style options. Want semicolons to be added on reformatting? Select Use Semicolons on New Code. Want them to be removed? Select Don't Use. Finally, WebStorm 2017.1 adds a preference for trailing commas in objects, arrays, and function parameters. Fiddling with import sort order is a time waster. WebStorm 2017.1 now provides more options to let the IDE do sorting for you your way. The code style preference for JavaScript and TypeScript now includes a tab for imports. Imports in JavaScript and TypeScript 
can now be sorted alphabetically by module or file name when performing optimized imports, as well as toggling the existing behavior of merging imports from the same module. Getting lost in dependencies and need a bird's eye view? You can now visualize the module dependencies for a file, group of files, or folder. Right click on a file and select Diagrams, Show Diagram to see a visualization. From here, you can jump to the file in the diagram using right click. The new WebSwarm 2017.1 brings big new features such as Vue.js and Jest test framework support, alongside many refinements in other frameworks and our core JavaScript and TypeScript support. We hope you enjoy this release and thanks for watching this What's New video.